there's a different way to live. There's a way to live an intentional life, a life of service to others, a life defined by love and not success. My name is Mark Owens, the Eclectic Monk, and I want to invite you to join me on this journey of faith. So here I am, officially driving a bus. I uh, had a trainer ride with me yesterday afternoon, had a trainer ride with me this morning, and now I'm on my own. So I'm running a elementary school route, then I come through, pick up, and run a high school route. So it's a pretty long afternoon, and I'm excited to see how things go. High school kids are great. The elementary school kids are little kids who've been trapped in a schoolroom all day. So they're a little bit rowdy, but I think give me a little time, I can get them under control. Anyway, this is me before the route. I'll come back and let you know how things went. See you in a bit. Well, I made it. I didn't kill anybody. I didn't hit anything. I didn't scream at anyone. I didn't actually ever lose my temper, although I had to use my great big adult man voice. And what I have here is eight bus discipline referral forms for eight elementary school kids who just would not pay attention to the new bus driver. The only way you can do this is to get their attention early and then keep it. So I told them, you got one chance and they all failed so see what happens all i can do really is hand these to the administration let the administration deal with the kids and the parents because that's their job my job is to move them safely from point a to point b i just got to get them home in one piece and get them to the school in one piece that's really my job i just want my bus to be peaceful the elementary school kids are going to be a it's going to be a job High school kids are great. They just plug in their earbuds and leave everybody alone and it's fantastic, I love them. I'll try to tell them tomorrow, but they really don't wanna hear anything from me. They just wanna get home. The bad thing is, is that because the elementary school kids are eating up so much extra time and me having to go and, you know, break them up and deal with them and talk to them and all these stuff that I was late to pick up the high school kids, but it's my first time. Hey, I was only a couple minutes late. I wasn't the last bus there today. So I got that going for me. I'm on a streak. Anyway, um, definitely an interesting experience. Definitely, um, as I begin to know the stops, and I've about got that down the route, I think I, I got it. It's pretty simple, pretty basic. It's not that big. Um, and then I'm beginning to, connect faces to places, then I can start working on names. And once I got the names, then I can start building relationships, hopefully. Or at the very least, I can be that consistent, stable, calm, professional, in control guy who drives the school bus in the morning and in the afternoon and doesn't put up with any crap. What else can you ask for? Anyway, that's uh, day one, first trip out. I guess it was a success. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Check you later. Hey, so I haven't done a lot of video this week because I've been really, really busy learning how to drive a school bus. But what I do want to do is I want to take you on a virtual tour of 
Garnet Ridge Road. It's a road that I have to uh, drive a school bus on twice a day, and it's pretty exciting. So I'm going to take us over there, and then I'm going to video going up and down this road. Imagine doing it in a school bus. You'll see what I mean when we get there. Hang on. to Garnet Ridge Road. And remember a school bus, a school bus is long, it has a long tail, so just not hitting that fire hydrant is a bit of a challenge, and then not putting it into that ditch. Now, I've got one student who lives on this road, and um, for a couple of days she didn't even ride. I did all this for no reason. As you can see, we're, we're on a bit of a curve, but that's not really the challenge. The challenge, well, the challenge are these hills. So as you come in, my stop is right around in here, so I, I stop right here, but there's nowhere to turn around. So, I have to go down this hill, climb this hill and I have to get as much momentum as I can going down that hill to get up this hill and the bus begins straining about here. If I have enough momentum it'll drop into lower gear and keep climbing. First time I did it it actually just stopped and I had to drop the bus into low gear and just rev it and get it to go. It'll climb up and up and up. Then we got this little bit of a dip little dip that gives me just enough momentum to pick back up to go back up this hill. Uh, but this isn't the fun part. This is actually pretty easy now that I've got the trick to it. You get up here, there's a dog that hates the bus here on the left. He's in a fence. He always barks at me. There he is. So you come across the top and then you hit this downhill. Now a bus has air brakes. What I basically have to do is put the brakes on here and hold the brakes steady because I've got about 600 feet pretty much straight down this hill. As you can see, and I'm not sure the video does it justice, but we are pretty much going at a very steep grade down this hill. And if you don't stop, if you lose brakes, uh, there's nothing there but trees and a little pond and a big creek. So I have to come down here, hope the air brakes hold, and then turn the bus around in this cul-de-sac, like so. I'm so used to doing it in two stages, I forget that I'm in my Kia and I can do things that I can't do in a bus. And then, well then, what we have to do is climb this hill from a dead stop in the bus. And what you really have to do is just go very slow and let the bus stay in low gear. Because if it tries to shift into a higher gear, it stalls and it just won't do it. And so you really have to get out and just let it barely pull itself up this hill. Let me show you just a little bit so you can see the grade, right, of this hill. We're still going up. The bus is screaming about right now. It's kicked into turbo. It's doing everything it can do. And then you get to the top of the hill. You breathe a little bit. Try to miss the guinea hens. And then, well then you have this long grade down on the other side. Remember that steep hill we came up? Well, now you gotta go down it. There's the dog that hates me. So we go down here, and it's the same ride with the brakes on. You just, you really have to just put the brakes on and hold them. Because again, this is the grade we're on. It's kind of hard to, to feel it in the video. But we're coming down really, really, really hard with the curves. Got 
got to keep the brakes on and because I can't get too much speed. The bus is top heavy. So you hit this curve going too fast and you've just rolled the bus down that hill. I don't want to do that. It's a very steep hill to go down. So, but you have to gain a little momentum when you can to go back up the other side. wobble. You can feel the top of that bus just try a little bit to weave over. It's a little unsettling feeling. But that is my daily challenge uh, on one of the, uh, the runs that I do. And it is, it is, um, it is interesting. Hey, so it's Thursday. Here's the update. I am uh, officially driving the school bus by myself, elementary and high school. My high school route, great. Those kids, they're just plugged into their earbuds. They just get on the bus and get off the bus and they're awesome and I love them. Elementary, a little different. Not too bad in the morning. This morning they were pretty good. This afternoon, and these little kids have been locked up in this classroom all day and they're ready to go wild and nobody's really been in control of this particular bus for at least three or four weeks. So it's, uh, it's a little off the chain, but I think with a little time, a little consistency and, you know, a little discipline, I'll get them, I'll get them set up. So definitely see the ministry in this activity what I'm doing it's uh, the people that I'm working for are just relieved to have another able person um, I've already proven that you know I know how to drive a route I did drive a FedEx route for I don't know over a decade so I, this is much easier than that um, it's not the driving it's the it's the people management that's that's the challenge but we'll get there we'll get there and, um, you know, the kids, the kids just need somebody. They need to have the same face at the same time with the same voice and the same tone. And so that's what I'm doing. And uh, so it's going to be good. The um, other stuff, I've got uh, the Dive Deep Weekend at Reliant coming up this weekend. And so I've been doing a lot of work trying to get ready for that. Uh posting the five minutes with Mark daily devotional Been doing a lot of work getting all that done uh, so it's been a really busy week and um, yeah I went down Saturday and finished that fence so I got that video up here too so you can see the finished product me and my son-in-law were able to knock that out and that was great so it's just been again another week of non-stop activity i'm really kind of looking forward to a week after next when it's spring break in the school system and i got a week off from driving the bus uh, of course i don't get paid when i'm not driving the bus but i'll figure out something and i could definitely use a couple of days of downtime and uh i may may make a point of making that happen so you know if my wife will let me anyway I mean, I still got to till the garden. I got a lot, I got so much to do, so we'll we'll get there. But uh, life is good, and I really, again, see. I see the calling in this, even though this is um, it's not glamorous by any stretch of the imagination. But but it's necessary, and you know, it's what servanthood is all about. So I'm being a servant, and that what we're called to be. So that's where we are, and I'll uh, follow up next week as the adventure continues. Don't miss it. Be there. <laughs> See you then. Hey, while I still got you, do me a favor. Would you leave a comment for the video? That really helps me out. Also, subscribe to the channel, like it, share it with your friends, and set up for notifications so that you'll know every time that something is posted. 
Also, check out my website, theeclecticmonk.com. There you're going to find my whole new line of Eclectic Monk merchandise. Uh, you're going to have stuff with the logo on it, t-shirts, coffee cups, and etc. And there's some original artwork and original designs that I've done with a spring theme that I think you'll really like. So check those out. The spring stuff is there for a limited time. Things will be changing as we get into summer. So now is the time to go see those and support this effort. I appreciate everything that you do for me. I really, really do. So thanks again, and we'll see you next time. God bless.